Hello everyone. Welcome to this new video. So in our uh, previous video, we have discussed uh, some of the derivations, right? So in this video, I'm, I have some of the important set of problems so that I'm going to explain it to you all. I have, I have already solved it and kept it just to explain it to you all. Okay. So please listen carefully, watch till the end without skipping any part of the video. Okay. It would be very useful for you all. So yeah. If those have not watched my previous videos, the whole playlist of network analysis, all the modules, uh, briefly I have explained it to you all. So please go and watch that. So let us come back to the problems part now. Few of the problems are there which I thought that it is necessary because these would be coming for around uh, 6 to 7 marks in the exam. Okay. So the first question is, the impedance of a parallel LCR circuit uh, as a function of omega is depicted in the diagram. Okay, it's depicted here in this diagram. Determine the values of R, L and C that is the resistance, inductance and capacitance of the circuit. If C is increased by 4 times, what are the new values of omega naught and bandwidth? bandwidth okay? So they have given one condition here. If C, the value of C is increased by 4 times. Okay. First we should be finding the value of R, L and C. Then we should be increasing the value of C into 4. Okay. That is 4C. And then checking the value of the resonating frequency omega naught and bandwidth. Okay. This is the initial value of uh, omega naught they have given in this graph that is equal to 10 radian per second. Okay. This is omega naught. Then bandwidth that is we know that what is bandwidth uh, f2 minus f1 right. That is uh, here they have given it as 0.4. So bandwidth is equal to 0.4 radian per second and the resistance value is 10 ohm and this is at uh, at the uh, resonance 7.07 uh, .07 ohm. Okay. Yeah. So from the graph, we have some of the data. First, let us try to find the value of capacitance. Okay. For that, we have one formula of bandwidth. We know that bandwidth is equal to 1 divided by RC. Okay. In that, we have the value of bandwidth. Is equal to 1 by RC. So bandwidth is 0 0.4. 1 divided by R is 10 ohms and C. So... 0.4 into 10 is 4, 4c is equal to 1, so c is equal to 1 by 4, that is c is equal to 0.25 farad, okay, the value of c we have found it now. Next is, next we should be finding the value of, uh, r is already given in the question, that is 10 ohms, uh, c we have found it, one more factor is left is the inductance l. Again we know that omega naught is equal to 1 by square root of LC which I have seen already. In this the value of C we have found it just now. Omega naught is given in the question that is 10 radian per second. 1 divided by L square root of L into C is 0.25. So 10 is equal to 1 divided by square root of 0.25 is 0.5. So 10 into 0.5 is 5 and square root of L I cross multiplied. So 5 into square root of L is equal to 1. Square root of L is equal to 1 by 5. Square root of L is equal to 1 by 5 is 0.2. So L is equal to square root of 0.2 is 0 0.04. Sorry. So if we have square root here. So if we bring it to the other side. It will be 0 0.2 the whole square. Right. So that is equal to 0 0.04 Henry. So we have found the values of R, L, C. One more condition they have given is C is increased by 4 times. That is 4 C. 4 into 0.25. That is equal to 1 farad. Now the new value of the capacitor is equal to 1 farad. Now we should be checking the values of. Uh, omega naught and bandwidth they have told you right so omega naught what is the formula for omega naught omega naught is equal to 1 divided by square root of lc okay so 1 divided by square root of l is 0 0.04 and the c is 1 so i have not mentioned it so 1 divided by square root of 0 0.04 is 0 0.2 so 1 by 0 0.2 that is equal to 5 radian per second so new value of the resonating frequency omega naught when c is increased by 4 times that is 5 radian per second and the new value of bandwidth is 1 by RC. Bandwidth is equal to 1 divided by R is 10 ohms. And capacitor, new value of capacitor is 0.25 into 4, right? So 4C, that is 1, uh, 1 farad. So 1 by 10 is 0.1 radian per second. So this is the new bandwidth. And this is the new resonating frequency, 5 radian per second. So this was one simple question. Let us get to one more question now. So now this is one typical question, very important question. The following information is given in the connection with the two branch uh, circuit that is the value of RL it is given it as 10 ohms and RC is given it as 20 ohms. 
Xc is given as 40 ohms. Xc stands for the capacitive reactants. The value of E they have given it as 120 volt and uh, ant, uh, anti resonating frequency FAR they have given it as 60 hertz. What are the values of L for resonance? They have mentioned the value of L for resonance and what values of current are supplied under this condition. Okay. So one by one let us find all the values now. Using the data we should be first identifying what we need to find. Okay. So let us first find that is first formula of uh, what I have applied is Zc square is equal to Rc square plus Xc square because they have given the value of Rc and Xc in the question that is Rc is 20 ohms and Xc is 40 ohms. So Zc square is equal to 20 square plus 40 square that is 400 plus 1600 that is equal to 2 kilo ohms. Okay. But uh, in order to find the value of inductance at resonance uh, the value of L for resonance so we have one formula right if you remember it we have discussed one formula for inductance that is L is equal to C by 2 into Zc square plus or minus square root of Zc to the power 4 minus 4 Xc square into Rn square. So here Zc to the power 4 we require right but we have here Zc square so that's why what I've done Zc square the whole, uh, the whole square that is equal to Zc to the power 4 that is 2000 the whole square. If we do the square root of the uh, 2000 square we would be getting around 4 mega ohms that is 4 into 10 to the power 6 ohms okay this is Zc to the power 4. Now what I am doing is the value of Xc we should be finding the value of Xc. The formula for Xc is Xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc Xc is equal to 1 divided by 2 into 3.14 is 6.28 the, uh, the value of uh, the frequency here they have given it as 60 and the value of capacitor we should be finding now okay Xc they have already given it as 40 ohms okay so what I am doing is 1 divided by 40 into the value this 40 I am bringing it down here and C I am bringing it up here okay so 1 divided by 40 into 6.28 into 60 and solve it we will be getting the capacitance around 66.34 microfarad okay that is substituted in the formula here C that is 66.34 microfarad divided by 2 Zc square that is 2 kilo ohm 2000 plus or minus Zc to the power 4 that is uh, 4 mega ohm 4 into 10 power 6 minus 6 uh, 6 lakh 40,000 6 4 uh, 640,000 or 640 kilo ohm okay that is RL square okay RL they have given it as 20 ohm right yeah 4 into Xc square plus, uh, into RL square if you solve it we would be getting around uh, 640,000 okay then uh, do the mathematical calculation as shown here do the di uh, division here and here what we would be getting the inductance value as 0.127 Henry okay now that from that you should be trying to find the value of XL okay XL is equal to 2 pi FL XL is equal to 2 pi that is 6.28 and F they have given it as 60 in the question and L we have found it as 0.127 our value of XL is equal to 47.85 okay so this is when uh, we have a plus or minus right so this is when we add these two we add these two we would be getting around uh, 3833.03 if we multiply this we would be getting 0.127 and if we minus this we would be getting this answer that is 5.538 milli Henry why because we had the condition right first condition when the Zc to the power 4 is uh, less than this term so again in this case it is less than this term so uh, we should be getting the two values of inductance right so that's why we have got two values of inductance you see here so that's why we would be getting two values of uh, the reactance as well 47.85 and 2.085 okay next for using this you should be finding the value of current that is i is equal to v into 1 by r that is v into g where g stands for susceptance and it has this formula here substitute in this formula and we will be getting this answer as that is 0 0.01418 mo okay that is substitute here Okay, I is equal to V into G. You do it here. Uh, v is 120. In the question they have given it as E is equal to 120 volt. Then uh, multiply with whatever answer we got here. Then we would be getting our answer as 1.701 ampere. Okay.
So this is when we take the value of XL as 47.85. Now in this equation, if you take the value of XL as 2.085, you would be getting different answer of I that is 12.6 ampere. So these are the two current values in this question we have got one is 1.701 ampere and one is 12.6 ampere. Okay. So these kind of problems would be asked in this uh, free uh, resonance part. Okay. So one more problem is there that is very straightforward or related to quality factor and all is that problem I've already discussed in my before parallel resonance part you can see it. So that's all for this session guys. I've discussed two important problems. So please make a note of it. And now I'm completing this module. Okay, this module is completed where I've covered both the chapters of uh, two port networks as well as resonance. Okay, again, uh, everything is covered. So those who have not seen those videos, please go and watch it. It's available in our playlist. Like, share, subscribe to our channel, guys. We'll see you in the next session with the, the different module. Okay, that's all, guys. Thank you.